thank you all for coming today. I'm happy to see the sun and we'll have a good turnout. Welcome to the City Center's open house and ribbon cutting. This has been a long time coming and we're excited to be here with you this morning. We will hear today from some people who were instrumental in this project. So let's begin with Mayor Cadenhead. Good morning. As she mentioned, I'm Mayor Cadenhead, and uh, as they say in Minnesota, if you don't like the weather today, stick around for five minutes. I don't know who's responsible for delivering this nice sunny day, but much better than the last two rainy days, right? So we're here at the new facility, here to have an open house that many people were a part of. Um, it's got more space. It's updated. It's going to help our community as it grows in the future for years to come. You'll be able to go see the fire hall facilities that are updated and ready to serve our community. The council chambers are larger, up to date with technology and better to serve. We've got great new facilities for our sheriffs that they'll talk about later and our partnership with Washington County Sheriffs. It gives us room to grow to serve our community in the future with staffing for more needs as 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 the community grows and and its needs grow i'd like to thank the building committee that worked with the architects leo daly uh, to get some of the finer points put in i'd like to thank the previous council members and M former mayor pearson for all the hard work they did and their vision in in making this happen um Something you don't see that was included in this project was updated facilities at our public works. That again, allows us to be more efficient, uh, better serve the residents of Lake Elmo. So with that, I'm gonna let the next speaker take over, thanks. Thank you, Mayor. Now we have our city administrator, Christina Hant. Thanks, Chris, and, and for all of your team for getting things pulled together this morning. Good morning and welcome, everybody. Um, thanks for coming. I'm Christina Hant, Lake Elmo City Administrator. Um, Thanks for coming on what everybody has said is a much brighter day than when we were standing here 18 months ago and broke ground on this project. So maybe that's a good sign of the, the direction we're headed. Um, I'd just like to take a few moments to thank the staff that helped move mountains or at least a lot of furniture and boxes to get us here. I appreciate all the staff who've been flexible over the last two years moving between multiple work sites, including what was the old Brookfield building here, our city hall down the way, and even a construction trailer at times. We couldn't have done it without our public work staff and firefighters who brought the muscle when we needed to do that, those things. They all took on this extra challenge on top of their regular duties in a fast paced community with little complaint and did not miss a beat. While our staff continues to grow as our community does, I'm not able to name all of them today in the time I've been allotted, but I'd like to mention a couple of folks who've been here the fa last few years driving us towards this new facility. First, I'd like to thank our city clerk, Julie Johnson, for always making sure I keep things in perspective. <laughs> While you won't find any lavish furnishings in the new city center, I hope you'll find a nice, warm, welcoming place thanks to her encouraging me to loosen the purse strings just a little bit and a reminder that this will be our forever home, so it's okay to make some investments in comfort. I'd also like to thank our public works director, Marty Powers, Whenever I brought a problem to his attention, I didn't, didn't have to wait around for details and had confidence knowing he'd resolve any issues without further follow-up. And lastly, we certainly would not be here in a building in such good condition, running in smoothly, smoothly as it does, without our fire chief, Dustin Kalis. The fire department may have thought they'd only get the added title of roomie <laughs> when they came to join us in this building. But we've been able to rely on the chief and his team to do so much more than save exotic birds and put out fires. They've become our added security, extra cleaning staff, IT and HVAC troubleshooters. This morning they helped get the flag up at the last minute and just our all around heroes as you all know. So we look forward to showing you our new digs today and we hope that you're just as proud of the space as we are, thanks.
Thank you, Christina. Now we have our fire chief, Dustin Kalis. All right, well, good morning, everyone. Uh, I'm really excited for you all to join us today. This is a huge day for not only the city of Lake Elmo, but definitely for the Lake Elmo Fire Department. I'm Fire Chief Dustin Kalis, and on behalf of my great crew on the Lake Elmo Fire Department, I'd like to thank our mayor and current city council and previous councils for their direction and getting this project moved forward. Uh, city Administrator Hant for kind of allowing me to push and shove as we went through the planning process to get what I truly felt is what we needed for the fire department, but most importantly for our residents and business owners for allowing this project to happen. Um, it's really exciting to see this project come to a close. I'm glad to move in and operate out of here, um, but this is a great facility for us, not only as a, a fire department, but definitely as a city as a whole. Thank you to our project design and construction partners for making our ideas, thoughts, and needs become a reality. The OA Daily, h &E Construction, along with all the other trade partners that worked on this project through its completion. I have an incredibly dedicated group of firefighters that, that are committed to serving this city. This new station will definitely allow us to serve our residents now and well into the future. Our new station allows our firefighters to serve these residents by improving our response time and our overall department operations, reduces our firefighters' exposure to cancer-causing carcinogens and other toxic materials. We now have spaces that support the physical and mental wellness of our staff. We've also been able to provide sleeping quarters for our crews that allow us to respond out of this building 24-7 with our new operational model. And also we're able to enhance our firefighter training with features that are built into the building. So. Uh, with that, take your time and enjoy what you see today. Uh, I appreciate everything that went into this project, so thank you. Thank you, Chief. Now we have Todd Lavold, who is the Senior Project Manager at Leo A. Daily. Well, thank you, everyone, for... Uh, bearing the cold weather, but as the mayor said, it's a beautiful day today. Uh, this project, as everyone knows, has been a long time in coming. Uh, the city really wanted to, to make a thoughtful approach to this project and studied a lot of options to, to make sure that this was a, a, a best decision possible for the city. Uh, by creating this joint facility and reusing this existing building, uh, that does represent a, a best value decision for the city. Our firm spent over 7,000 hours with Dustin and uh, Christina hand in hand, uh, all the while themselves working to run the city and the uh, fire department. And during a pandemic for part of that uh, process. Um, <clears throat> and, and really what they brought to the table was to make sure that this is the best facility possible for uh, not only today, but for tomorrow and the future. Um, this is a big step, as, as uh, Chief Kalis had mentioned, for the fire department. Um, and we look forward to seeing how, uh, <clears throat> seeing how he can grow the department to be even a better department than it is today. Uh, it's also a big step for the city staff and their ability to serve the community better. Uh, so I just want to say congratulations to everyone involved and for uh, everyone that's uh, going to see much improved. Um, physical working environments and I just again want to say uh, thank you for letting Leo Daly be part of this process thank you and thanks to Dustin and Christina thank you Todd next we have Joe Ulhorn the CFO at H&U Construction Good morning, everybody. Uh, thank you very much for coming. A uh, couple things from H&U's perspective. We're obviously very proud to be part of a project like this. It's very meaningful to your community. Um, we appreciate the flexibility and the support of the city, the county, the designers, the community, and our trade subcontractors during this project. Uh, special appreciation from me to our project manager, Luke Nelson, who's here, and our site superintendent, Gabe Schroer. Um, we appreciate the support of Christina through the project. She's had 
great to work with. Um, our, the fire chief, Dusty, uh, and the fire staff, the city council, the mayor, and everybody who's been involved in this project. Thank you very much and enjoy your new building. Thank you, Joe. Next, we have Gary Creasel from the Washington County Commissioners. Thank you uh, for having me here to be part of your celebration. I'm Gary Creasel. I represent Lake Elmo on the Washington County Board of Commissioners. It's great to really it's great to see how excited everybody is uh, to see this uh, day come to fruitation. At this time, I'd like to recognize that Kevin uh, Magnuson, our county attorney uh, officer, and state representative Mark Weens. Uh, thank you for being here and helping us celebrate. I'd also like to uh, congratulate Mayor Cottonhead, the uh, Lake Elmo City Council, Christina Hunt staff, uh, for helping uh, working on delivering this project. It's it's beautiful. This city hall is absolutely beautiful. It is here for residents to visit to do county or excuse me, county city business. Maybe we can get an office over here. I'll talk to the mayor about that. But, and for city staff to have a comfortable, functional place to work. Both are commendable uses for the home of city government. Lake Elmo's population is rapidly growing and all residents, both longtime residents, and those who are just moving in will be proud to have this facility to serve community needs. I want to especially thank you for being so accommodating to Washington County Sheriff's deputies who will use this facility as a home base to serve Lake Elmo residents. We are proud and enthusiastic to serve the residents of the community and it is so gratifying to see space that you have provided for them while they are doing their work in your community. Again, congratulations on the addition of this new city government building. It will serve the residents well into the decades to come. Thank you. Thank you, Commissioner Kriesel. We have Dan Starry, our sheriff from Washington County next. Good morning, everyone. And uh, I, again, I congratulate and thank the city, uh, the mayor, city council, Christina Hant, administrator. What a beautiful building. Um, I got my team here as well, Sergeant Erickson, Deputy Lindholm, uh, Deputy Booth. Uh, this is going to be our home, and it has been uh, for a while, but what a great opportunity. And a lot of people don't know that the Sheriff's Office, we respond 24-7 from here to all of the calls, emergency calls and non-emergency calls. And it's this great team that's out here today that continue to do that day in and day out. And this facility is going to allow us to respond better, have our equipment, have our equipment ready, and uh, it's going to last years into the future. Um, and so I thank you. I thank you for having our team part of this uh, process and having our input uh, because it is going to serve the citizens in the community for a long time uh, to come. So I know I'm in between the, the ribbon cutting, uh, so I'm going to keep it short, but I just want to thank my team as well. So thank you. Thank you, Sheriff Starry. Now we will do our ribbon cutting, so I invite all of the speakers to come up, and the mayor, we have scissors for everybody. And the council and our city staff. Mayor, you get the nice big one. 